the fish tank guy store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I got some latest adoptions this morning I want to share with everyone. I got, you can see them? Yep, right there. Is it? A little hard with the glare of the sunlight coming in through the window, but that is about a 10 inch green terror. Haven't had one of them in a while. He just came out of a 110 gallon tank. And I also have, again, you can't see them too well because of the glare. Um, about a 10 inch Jack Dempsey. And I also got, it's a smaller one. Um, the silver dollars right here, the smaller one came this morning. He's that one right there, that small one right there. He came this morning. Last Wednesday, I got this 12 inch alligator gar and the slightly bigger silver dollar, that one, they too came last Wednesday. So, Green Terror. Guy said it was pretty docile, wasn't a mean fish, although he kept the Jack Dempsey at bay. Um, yeah, you can see the uh, giant guami here being a bully. Giant guami, it's a bully towards other fish just about as big as him. Doesn't bother the silver dollars. He was bothering my lungfish after a few months of them being together. He bothers the alligator guard, keeps the alligator down low, doesn't want the alligator coming up high to get food. Um, you can see some sinking pelt on some floating colors up top that I fed a little while ago. But I just gave the alligator guard a a um a feeder goldfish, so he's gonna eat feeder goldfish. Um, but yeah, I see some aggression going on with the uh, giant guami towards these two adoptions that I just put in here minutes ago. So I'll see if if the giant guami guami calms down a little bit in a little while. If he doesn't, I'm gonna have to move this green terror <clears throat> and that Jack Dempsey to another tank. Ideally, I like to leave them in this 120 gallon window display tank, but um, that worst scenario, I got, you know, 40 gallon breeders and 55 gallons. So I got a couple other tanks. Look how amazing that Jack Dempsey looks. That Jack Dempsey, about 10 inches long. Beautiful colors. So we'll see what happens in the next half hour, hour or so. Bubba, the giant guami. It doesn't. I had some smaller fish in here with him. I, I took them out because I didn't want. I didn't want to risk the alligator guard trying to eat them. I had some about three inch albino tin foil barbs, and I had some about three to four inch ballast sharks and um they were fine with the giant guama giant guama did not pay no mind to them whatsoever well again he just seems to be a bully towards bigger fish but smaller fish they don't they don't pay them no mind just leaves them alone they swim right next to him they don't pay them no mind whatsoever but it seems like bubba here giant guami what's all wants all the attention of the window tank all to himself that's what it seems like to me. So, again, we'll see what happens in the, in the next little bit. Um, I never knew giant guamis to be so, you know, I don't know, mean, territorial, aggressive towards bigger fish. Again, towards bigger fish. This giant guami, when I got him, he was in a 110 gallon with a big pop cool, just about the same, a little bigger than him, as a matter of fact. And they was raised together for about four or five years, so the previous owner told me. And then at the end, then the Paku got slightly bigger, and the Paku started bullying this giant guami. Hmm. Unfortunately, you can see his tail pretty shredded looking. The Paku did that to him. I did see eight months later, I, I saw just a little bit of a growth in that tail yesterday. Just a real little bit. I, I never noticed it before, so I've been hoping for months that that tail will grow back. Um... We'll see. I guess it'll take a while longer for it to grow back. So, anyways, just sharing my latest adoptions with my followers on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. These fishes actually got, I, I got them for someone that follows me 
that follows my Facebook fish tank guy page. And um, he's seen some other adoptions that I've gotten before. He's been following me for a couple of years, he said. And um, when it came time to get rid of the fish, you know, that light turned on in his head. Hey, the fish tank guy, he adopts fish all the time. Let me get in contact with him. So he did. And um, I picked him up early this morning in uh, Manayunk, Philadelphia. That's the part of the city I got them at. So anyways, again, just want to share with everyone my latest adoption. Oh, Hold up. A couple, couple days ago, I picked up a 90 gallon tank and the house was for sale and they had to get rid of these birds. Um, the lady told me they were love birds. I don't know nothing about birds other than I love my Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> but um, I had a customer yesterday that knows quite a bit about birds and he said these are actually finches, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. They're not lovebirds. Finches, he said they are. And um, again, I'm not a, you know, I like, I, lo I love all animals. But my thing now, you know, for a while has been fish. And I do adopt turtles, you know. But um, they had to get rid of it. And I'm an animal lover. And I told the lady, well, I can take it. My, you know, my oldest sister's into birds. And, and at worst scenario, um, you know, I got tons of customers that come to the store that I might be into birds as well, so I can possibly rehome it to someone like them. Although, yesterday morning, I came to work, and they was just chirping. Uh, it sounded so awesome in the store. I, I actually thought I was back in Brazil in the Amazon. Oh, my God. I really, really enjoyed them. I kept whistling at them, and they would chirp back, and they were just so active early in the morning and I was like geez I love this never been into birds and now look now I'm gonna have a hard time rehoming them I actually want to I, I thought about it yesterday a couple times and I was like I think, how nice would it be to get them a much bigger cage and um, you know keep them for a while but we'll see we'll see what happens I always say everything is for sale if the price is right so We'll see what happens, but yeah, finches. They're not lovebirds, they said they're finches. Unless somebody knows better than me. Again, I'm just going by secondhand what someone else is telling me. If um, if somebody knows what kind of bird they are, I don't know how well you can see them through the cage, and or if you know how to tell the sex on them, the lady says she thinks they're two males because she had them for a few years and they never laid eggs. Um, so again, I don't know much about birds. I will be learning a little more doing some research googling and stuff but um comment below let me know if these are indeed finches um and any tips you can give me um they gave me a whole bunch of food with them so anyways just want to share um with everyone um you know youtube facebook instagram thanks for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell alert to get alerts when i post cool stories like this cool fish happenings here at the fish tank guys store other fish tanks for sale and other adoptions and fish ex fish tank accessories stuff for sales and so on and so on um the fish tank guys store here in philadelphia pennsylvania thanks for watching